Today, we will have a brief introduction of Crowbot three-phase battery-ready energy storage system installation. The core parts of the whole system are MOD3 10KTL3XH battery-ready inverter and ARC-XH battery system. There are eight models in MOD-XH series from 3 kW to 10 kW. The lithium battery we used in this video is ARC-XH battery system. ARC battery uses the material of cobalt-free lithium iron phosphate to guarantee its excellent safety. Offering flexible capacity options for customers, each battery module is 2.56 kWh, support from 3 to 10 pieces in series, support remote firmware upgrade to save on-site maintenance fee. The whole system is easy installation with stacked modular design. The whole system supports double power supply function. An MOD 10KTL 3XH inverter can provide 10 kW full power AC output plus 10 kW full power battery charge capacity. Before installation, we need to prepare the required tools. The operating environment is so important that it will influence the lifespan of MODXH. So please don't expose the MODXH to the environment of sunshine, rain and snow. In order to ensure the machine can run properly and easy to operate, please provide adequate space for MODXH. First of all, unpacking the MODXH package and check whether the unit has damaged or missing parts. If happens, please contact the supplier. There are some connection ports including DC switch for solar input, battery input port, PV input port, USB port for the monitoring accessory and firmware upgrade, COM port for communication of battery system, smart meter and backup box and DRMs function of Australia models or power control interface of European models, IC grid connection port. Make sure the PV switch is off Similar to the traditional inverter connection, the input of solar panel can be made by PV terminal. Insert PV panel positive and negative cables into the relative terminal of MODXH. Limit maximum PV voltage 1100 volts. Consider the lowest temperature. Maximum PV input current 16 ampere. Maximum PV input power per string 10 kW. Remark. We suggest that you use the cable no less than 4 square millimeters, 12 AWG to connect. The battery power cable is inside the package for the Arc XH battery cable accessory, which is purchased from GrowWatt. Insert battery positive and negative cable into the relative battery terminal of MOD XH inverter. Limit. Maximum battery voltage 950 volts. Maximum battery charge and discharge power 10 kW. MOD XH has the AC grid port, and we can follow this AC wire suggestion to choose a suitable cable. Confirm the L1, L2, L3 end port of the connection terminal. Thread cables through pressure screw, C-ring, threaded sleeve in sequence. Insert cables into connection terminal according to polarities indicated on it and tighten the screws. Push and rotate threaded sleeve on to connection terminal until both are locked tightly. Plug the socket into AC output terminal. Clockwise rotation to tighten the socket. Counterclockwise rotation to loosen the socket. Here is the communication connector for the COM port. The definition of each port is shown in the table. 
the communication cable between MODXH inverter and ARC XH battery is offered from ProWatt, following the number label to connect with the communication connector. Connect the communication cable from the smart meter and a backup box to the communication connect. Thread cables through a pressure screw, seal ring, thread sleeve in sequence. Remove the cover from the terminal. Connect the communication connector to the COM port of MODXH inverter. Please remember to connect the grounding connector, which is at the right side of the MODXH inverter. Connect the L1, L2, L3 and end line of the grid to port 1, port 2, port 3, port 4 of the smart meter. Connect the port 8 to port 7, port 6, port 5 of the smart meter to L1, L2, L3 and end line of the load. Connect port A plus of the smart meter to port 5 of MOD XH communication connector. Connect port B of the smart meter to port 6 of MOD XH communication connector. Notice the standard communication line between meter and inverter is 15 meters. If it is not enough, also can use a network cable to extend. The maximum communication distance is 100 meters. Unpack the battery module package and there are some parts inside. Arc 2.5H A1 battery, power and communication cables, user manual and warranty card. The power interface of Arc 2.5H A1 battery. The power terminals to the MOD XH inverter. The battery negative terminal and the positive terminal. Grounding connector. Unpack the BDC 95045A1 package and there are some parts inside. BTC 95045A1 module, the battery power module, power cables, just proof terminal, warranty card. The terminal interface of the power module, BDC 95045A1, the power terminals to the MOD XH inverter, power button, the INV port to communicate with MOD XH inverter. The link in and link out ports are reserved from multiple clusters of ARC battery and parallel. DC breaker. BMU port to communicate with upper ARC battery pack. Power terminals to the ARC battery pack. The LED light shows the state of charge of the battery system. The USB interface for quick firmware upgrade on site. The ARC battery base is used for floor installation. The customer needs to purchase an extra accessory of ARC XH battery cable, which is used to connect from the ARC battery system to the main XH inverter. Adjust the screws of the ARC battery base to ensure it on the floor horizontally. Put the battery base on the floor where it is close to the wall. Stack one ARC battery pack on the base. Remember to remove the top cover of the battery pack. Then stack the second ARC battery pack. Install the safety part in the final ARC battery pack and stack the battery pack to the whole system and fasten the safety part to the wall. Stack the power module to the whole system and please don't remove the partial top cover of the power module. Connect the metal connectors between battery packs. Make sure all the connectors on both sides of the ARC battery are well connected. Remove all the dustproof cover attached to the battery pack. Connect the ground cable between battery packs. Connect the positive and negative power cable in series between all the battery packs and power modules. Connect the communication cable from BMU port of the power module to the link zero port of the topper battery pack and connect all of the battery packs one by one. Power and communication cables from the hybrid inverter need to go through the rubber cover. 
Then connect the negative and a positive power cable to the corresponding terminals and connect the communication cable to the INV port of the power module. Notice, please remember to connect the single plug connector to the link one port of the bottom battery pack. Install the dustproof covers back to the floating terminals. Please remember to connect the ground cable made by the installer from the whole arc battery system to the earth point. If the installation site has the height limit, the customer could consider installing arc battery in two lines. An extra ARC 2.5HA1 series cable accessory is required. And follow the dynamic diagram to connect the ARC battery system. MODXH provides a USB port for communication. The whole energy storage system can be monitored via Shine Link X, Shine Wi Fi X, Shine GPRS X and Shine LAN X. As demonstrated, you can see the whole ESS system, and now we start to power the whole system. Firstly, turn on the breaker between grid and inverter. Secondly, turn on the PV breaker and PV switch of the inverter. Finally, turn on the breaker of the power module and a power on the battery system. Then the status indicator will flicker for a short time and keep always on, finally. The MOD XH series battery ready energy storage system including MOD 10 KTL 3XH ARC XH battery system Smart meter and AC breaker between inverter and the grid 